everyone. So today we're going to be talking about the HiveMapper app and we're going to do a quick walkthrough of all the different tabs and some of the features that you should know about. So first we're going to work from left to right and we're going to you're going to start on the dash cam tab. Here on the dash cam tab you're going to see a couple different things. Up at the top you're going to see the image counter and the image counter is how you're going to decide if your dash cam is producing images. You're going to see them flow from the dash cam itself, which is the leftmost number, to the phone, and then once you connect to Wi-Fi or enable cellular uploads, number uploaded today. Here on this tab, you're also going to see the live preview. That's this kind of blue screen you're seeing in the middle. If I was connected to the dash cam, you would see exactly what the dash cam is saying in this thing. This big button right here, this is the connect to dash cam Wi-Fi. Go ahead and select this and if you have your dash cam plugged in and near you, you will see the dash cam Wi-Fi. Just going to click on that and you can save the dash cam so it will connect automatically. Now you're ready to start mapping. You can press start, you can press stop. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just pause it for the sake of this walkthrough. Next tab over is the map tab. So here on the map tab, it's going to show you a full map of your current location. You're going to be represented by the blue dot and the blue dot will follow you around as you drive. Um, this map uses the GPS of your phone, so that's just something to keep in mind. It's not necessarily the GPS of the dash cam. The map also has a dark mode. If that is your thing, you can switch by toggling that little layers button in the top right corner. You also will see the buzz feature here, and the buzz feature allows HiveMapper contributors to buzz things they find noteworthy, things like car accidents, road closures, fallen trees, whatever it might be. If you think it's uh, buzzworthy, you can tap that. The next tab over is the Honey tab. So here on the Honey tab, you're going to see records of all of your earned honey. At the very top, you'll see the grand total. I have 274 total earned honey. Then you'll see the individual transactions. Um, including what the honey was earned for, how much you earned, and the date it was awarded. Remember, honey is only awarded once a week on Wednesday nights. So another section you may see is pending honey. If you drove during the earning period, but the honey has not been paid out yet, those will appear under the pending honey section. Moving along, finally, we have the settings tab. So here on the settings tab, you're going to be able to see your HiveMapper username right in the middle there. Mine is Spicy Copper Whisperer. At the top, you're going to see the ability to allow cellular uploads if you want to use cellular data to upload your contributions. And then you're going to see the links to HiveMapper support. You need to get in touch with us. Disconnect your wallet if you want to log out of the app and a link to our Discord community. Down at the bottom here, you're also going to be able to see your dash cam ID, the firmware version, and the app version you are currently using. This information is super helpful if you are reaching out to support. And that is the HiveMapper Contributor app.